Hi everybody, this is Adewale again. In this video, we want to go through how to use the Adewale's CC frameworks to create sales emails. So these emails are going to be emails that will be giving your customers something of value whilst at the same time selling them your products and services. So because if the client feels they've benefited from you and they think you know your stuff, and then they're more inclined to check your offerings. So in the Adewale CC frameworks, you've got one, two, three, four emails that are linked to doing this. So all you just do is you decide on what you want to do. Okay. I'm going to walk you through how you would use um, all these emails. So you already should know that all you just have to do is click the link. It goes to that page, create that part of the email and move on to the next and move on to the next and move on to the next. I'm going to walk you through these emails now. So first we want to start with a product that we want to create emails for. So I've got a video um, page. This was created using the e-commerce frameworks in Closest Copy. All we want here is to take the heading. Part of the blob I will take would be discover essential steps for healing a toxic relationship. So we want to go into the generate your products and service description. And we want, it should open up to the get your big idea for that. So we want to put a topic in here. I've already done that. And then the discover essential step for healing your relationship. I've already put that in here. And when I ran this, I decided to choose that big idea um, as what I would use. So we've got the topic and a big idea. So these are two things you need for, first of all, for, for running the first email type, right? So go back to the email. Now you want to generate talking points. You could generate talking points from the product itself. You could generate talking points from the customer's problems or their solutions. So these are the talking points that we have from here now. So the way our mind records information given to it by our conscious mind. So what we just do could take one of these and then plug it in as your talking point and also go to the next step and show you how that would work with the next step. So the next step would be generates service related emails from each talking point. So we've got there. We now want to go to the next page, which is the generating the introduction to the email, which would be this create emails that magnify your customer's problems. And just to mention here so that you are aware. So even though you use products or service or you use customer solution, we'll always still will come to magnifying the customer's problems through the eyes of the solutions or the product services. All this just does is create relevant topics that we can talk about that's linked to the product or services. And then you just plug them into this next bit. So we dig into the problem again. So we put in the topic and then we put in the talking points that we generated just now. And just as a favor, please, as you are creating different content, when you see a framework result you like, please, can you click the heart so that we can improve all the frameworks so the AI keeps getting better. Yeah, so I like the way it started it, but I may want to add some things to here. I like the email, although perhaps it's taken some idea from what I already have there, but I feel that is still catchy enough how to heal after a toxic relationship would be the email headline. And it starts with this, it's a nice opening. Yeah, I think that's quite strong enough. So we'll move to the next step. Next step is create a bridge which highlights the solution. Now this is going to be a bit crucial to understand. We want to ask a question that takes into consideration first, what this is talking about, what the initial email is talking about, which is how our brain is wired to repeat information given by us by others to our product, how to heal after toxic relationship. So this is the product we're selling and we need to make sure that the concepts are related. So it's helpful to know um, the concept you used in the product. So in this case, getting your life back. So how does our brain wired to repeat information given to us by others link with getting your life back? So the goal of this particular framework is to create a link between the pain points we just described and 
help the clients gain an insight to see how they can achieve this and then then see how your products actually help them achieve this. So this is another way you can coax um, closest copy to give you the information you need. So let's say you like some of what it is given here. So I like some of what is given here, but my problem is that it's not quite tiny to, to the pain. How can our how can we use the power of memory to heal ourselves? Mm, actually, maybe you know what? I'm just going to take this question here and plug it here. I think that's a better way to do this. All right. So when we get to the question, usually the question should link your topic to your product because my product is saying, get your life back on track, which is really about healing ourselves. So using the power of our memory to heal ourselves. You know what? I want to add something here. How, to, how we can use the power of our memory after a toxic relationship to heal ourselves. Yeah. So we use that as the question. And why have I done that? I've made sure that there's something connected to what the introduction of the email is relevant, is related to something connected to what we are talking about in the product and services, which is healing after a toxic relationship. And then that should create the kind of solution that we can then link to the product and services. And I can take this because it's talked about pain here. I can take this, which says memories of pain and sadness will be there. But using the power of memory can can help you heal. So up to this point, I like, I just put this back into the box, making sure I've got this so the AI can be tricked into just adding to what I have there. Okay, I'll just read everything we've got all the way to there. So it's not always easy to forget the past and move on after a toxic relationship. It's hard for us to move on because it feels like all the happiness in our life has been taken away. We feel alone, sad, and hopeless. In addition, we may feel anger and resentment towards the person who has caused us pain. What if you could heal from the pain by remembering the bad times you had with that person? Oh, that's a powerful question. So what we want to say is this. So memories of pain and sadness can help you heal. I want to say you'd be surprised how much memories that is if you use them in the correct way, which I am going to show you now. So to do this, try recalling the painful memories and at the same time, and say the following phrases, I'm healing from this. As you say these words, allow yourself to feel the energy in the room, then say the same phrases as you breathe in and out, I'm healing from this. Um, repeat this a few times until you feel stronger. Once you feel better, repeat these phrases for every painful memory you have. Continue to repeat the phrases as you need throughout the day. So that has gotten you through the pain, through a solution, a brief solution. And then what we now need to connect now is connect this solution now to your product. So we now connect it to the product properly. So go to the next step, uh, generate a relevant offer. So now we generate a, a relevant offer to our products and services, which is something I will tag onto here. Our product and service title, if you remember what it was, is how to heal after a toxic relationship. So we put it, we put the offer in there and then now we'll finish off the email for us. So it needs a bit of editing. And then once you've edited, you got your email to send to your customers, which helps them. It's going to give them a very useful solution, which makes them think that you are an expert and then offers them your product in a very unintrusive way. And this way they're more likely to click through and um, go over and then purchase your product. So that's it for today's video. Remember, share, like, and subscribe to the channel so we can keep growing and getting better together.